Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to another lesson. Today's lesson is the second lesson in design breaking. The name of the lesson is design evaluation. So this is a very short lesson. But maybe the assignment would take a bit of time. So let's start with the lesson so you can have time for the assignment. First of all, design evaluation. We all know what evaluation is. Evaluation is checking or assessing something to see how good does it perform. So design evaluation is based on having evaluators check the usability of the product. The purpose is to find usability problems, know how severe they are, and check the overall usability of an entire system. So this can do be done by you yourself, by some experts, by users, and some other different methods. So let's talk about the methods. There is something called evaluation walkthrough. It doesn't really mean that you walk through the device. It means that you walk through it in your head, in your mind. You start thinking about What's going to happen when we use this? You start visualizing yourself using the product. And then you evaluate it based on what you, what you are thinking about. So you might think that, okay, this is the product. And when I'm going to use it, I might have this type of problem or this sort of problem. So this is a good way. It's cheap. It's easy. All it needs is that you sit back and you start imagining the process of using the device or the product. The second method is pluralistic walkthrough. In pluralistic walkthrough, you do the same as an evaluation walkthrough, but you do this as in a group. You sit around on a table, four or five of you, two, three, it doesn't have an exact number. But it's the same thing, but in plural. So two or more people sit together and they talk about the process of using the device. What problems can they face? They try to predict usability problems. They try to predict the overall usability of the product itself. Third evaluation method is feature inspection. Where you list down the features, all the features of a product. What is expected to be found there? You list them down and then you start testing them. You test the features one by one. So let's say I have a feature in a water bottle. Same example, the water bottle. I made the water bottle a product. And one of the features of the water bottle is it keeps the water cold or hot. So I list this feature and then I test it. How do I test it? I put some cold water inside this water bottle and I come and test it. Maybe the feature is it keeps the water cold for, for 12 hours and it keeps the water hot for maybe 7 hours. So I come and I test it. I put cold water inside the bottle and I test it after 12 hours. And then I come and put hot water inside the bottle and I test it after 7 hours. So I list all the features within the product and then I test them one by one and see if they are working or not working. The fourth method is consistency inspection. Consistency with what we listed. If we say that the, our product is supposed to be um, a good design or it's supposed to be durable or it's supposed to be whatever we say that it's supposed to be, we test it. We see if, we, if the product is consistent with what we are saying. So until now, those can be done by experts. By the designers themselves, by friends of the designers, by people who are experts at evaluation. The fifth method is standard inspection. This is done by a person who is knowledgeable or an expert in standards. And what do you mean by standards? They are the standards that the government puts or the standards that the uh, companies in whole puts. They are standards that we have to abide with 
for our product to get into the market. So we get a person who is knowledgeable about the standards. He inspects our product based on the standards of the company or of the, um, the what's it called, the country we are producing the product in. If it succeeds, he gives us that we succeeded all the standards. If we fail any of the standards, we cannot produce the product. So we have to work on it again. And the last method we're going to talk about is the heuristic evaluation. And what do we mean by that? Heuristic are the are a list of principles, design principles, that are now common. They are accepted, worldwide accepted, that those are things that should be inside the design itself. This one, this type of design breaking, we will talk about this in the next lesson, inshallah. So those are the design evaluation methods. And that is it for today. Now for the assignment. For the assignment, I want you to list the features of the product and come up with tests to evaluate those features. So the instructions are going to be create a new document, just as every time. Name the document design evaluation. Write the names of your group members and the name of the product you are working on. Describe the features of the product. This is something not. Uh, this is something specific to this assignment. List five features, at least five features. Five, six, seven. You have to squeeze your brain. Think about it. Think. You may you can ask your parents or ask any any anybody who can help you. You can ask your colleagues in in class. Think about the features of the product. What features are your product going to have? Like if you're having a smart home, you're going to have probably voice recognition. This is one of the features. You're going to have automated, um, uh, automated, let's say automated doors, or you might have automated locks. Think about all the features that you can have in your product. List at least five. You can add more features if you would like to. And in step number four, what I want you to do is describe how you will evaluate the five or more features you described in step number three. Which of the evaluation methods are you going to use from the from the list, this list? Which evaluation methods are you going to use and how will you use that? How will you test, test each of those features? Finally, save your work, submit it on Edmodo under the assignment named approaches. No, not approaches design breaking. This is wrong. Under the assignment named design evaluation and this is it for today do your assignments and enjoy the rest of the class